this quote says, The poor you will have with you always. And that's from a gentleman wearing sandals in the Middle East. Hello and welcome to the Durham Talents Channel. My name is Jesse Durham. For today's installment of our quote series, we're going to evaluate a quote through an infinite banking lens. Now, that quote is, The poor you will have with you always. Jesus Christ said that. Now, not to get too theological, we could have that conversation personally, but to look at the practicality of, well, why is that? Why could it possibly be said by anyone that the poor are always going to exist? That Okay, so what I am going to promote, of course, is the idea that you could become your own banker. And I do so reverencing R. Nelson Nash's book, Becoming Your Own Banker, where he gives certain reasons that that may be so. So let's begin with theft. I mean, plenty of folks would say that the first labor-saving implement would be theft. So we are all exposed to this risk of illegally or legally folks would like to deprive us of our money. That exists. Another one would be the golden rule. The golden rule says that he who has the gold makes the rules. So perhaps the poor are not proactively amassing capital for themselves. Now, I'm not talking about a specific number. I'm just saying um, decimals move left and right. But the principle of setting aside capital for ourselves or the absence of that habit could contribute. Let's also look at Nash's arrival syndrome. It may be our natural response to any given information to say, well, I know that. Or, I already know that. And we all have to fight that natural inclination to presume something, perhaps, but rather have to remain open-minded and, again, intentionally decide that we're going to continue as students and learn. Now, some of us, myself included, may have to learn certain lessons more than once before it finally gets in our heads. But, again, that would be another possible reason of why we would have the poor always. Another could be use it or lose it. That's another rule from Nash's book where he points out that interest exists, that economic value exists, that there is a cost of capital. We only finance things one of a couple of ways. Either we borrow someone else's money and pay them interest on their terms and conditions, or we do set aside capital somewhere and we forfeit the opportunity to earn interest. So those are the two ways, the only two ways that things are financed unless we become our own banker. So there is either the case that we are spending volumes, in fact, volumes of interest, or we're forfeiting the opportunity to, learn, to, to earn on our own capital. And then finally, he talks about creating uh, privatized banking entity. So if we've not proactively approached building an entity and appreciating asset that we could use for the banking function in our lives, then that means inherently that we are beholden to the commercial banks for our need of finance. So those are some thoughts from R. Nelson Nash. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on that saying, on why that saying may be so. And if you'd like to have a conversation about how to implement the infinite banking concept into your household or your business or your investing, then you can reach us at 828-817-4223 or you can email durhamtalents at gmail.com. This has been a great pleasure for me. I look forward to our next conversation. Have a great day. Take care. Listen, he who has the gold Makes the rules, okay? Now get out of here. Whether legally or illegally, there are those who would like to deprive us of our money, okay? Now get out of here. You know, let me do something for you. I'd like to buy you some shoes. Let me get you some shoes. We'll fit you with some nice concrete shoes. We'll take a ride out on the lake. Bada bing, bada bang. Goodbye. What are you doing? You can't say stuff like that. Get out of here.
What in tarnation are you talking about? What I'm saying is use it or lose it. That's wrap, folks. Lunchtime. What's guy got to do to get a sandwich around here? It's time to eat.